Oh, hi guys. It's been a while since I've done one of these, so I thought it was about time I'll do it again. Um, I've had quite a severe chest infection and pleurisy, so I'm um, still trying to get over that. Got quite a nasty cough. But I thought I'd uh, do a little solo. I'm going to do church in the village. Um, there are no tales or reports of paranormal activity here. Um, but when I have done many investigations here, I've had some success. There was uh, one time I used an app, I um, can't think which one it was, but it was by Brian Holloway and Javier Sands. Um, I actually got a young Irish guy come through the voice, and he said his name was Ross, and he just wanted to go home. So um, I done a bit of research, and there's only one Ross buried within this graveyard. So, we'll see. Um, as you can hear, I'm still full of, still feeling not too good. But uh, I'll do this for all the members and for a bit of fun. So, we shall see what we shall see. So, we've uh, reached the location. The lovely little church. Uh, you can hear a lot of bird activity, as you can hear. Um, some of these graves are quite old, there's one there from 1880s um, but there's some here from late 1700s so uh, like this one here is from uh, that one there is from 18, 1854 uh, one there 1878 lovely little um, churchyard this very nice and peaceful so there's one over there from 2001 so it's varied there's only about 200 people 250 people live in the whole village um, this one I'm not too sure on the age of this uh, got to be pretty got to be pretty old because it's quite worn away let's have a look uh, I don't know if you better make that out but that actually says 1711 up there uh, first of the first and then unfortunately I can't make out that for the rest of them but that's uh, pretty old and uh, worn away so, is, uh, there's a few graves here um, that one's so worn away that one actually doesn't look like it's ever been marked or the headstone has been taken um, you still get people come down here because there are some recent burials. Uh, there's one there from that's 1994, and this one from 1924. This graveyard has got a minor bit of significance to me because where I live in the village at the moment, um, in this graveyard here, that was a fly trying to get on something. Uh, um, yeah, where I live at the moment in 1971. There's a little boy called Trevor Brian Hammond that passed away from complications with meningitis. Um, I believe he was about four or five years old. And uh, this is graveyard where he's buried. And here we are. Okay, so here we go. Let me try this. Started scanning. I know. Trevor Brian Hammond, was your mummy and daddy with you when you passed away? Ice. Was it day or night time? I just wish to communicate. I just wish to communicate with you. I don't wish you any harm. I live in the house where you passed away. A little box there in front of your grave, you touch it. Don't know you're here. Get a few things on the through on the ghost app. Inside. 
Trevor. I hear your dad wasn't a very nice person. Did he scare you? Well, your mummy was your mummy kind, Betty. Eight. What was your brother's name? You had a sibling. What was their name? Near death. Near death. <laughs> Was you afraid when you passed? Ray. Were you scared when you passed away? Is it rain or brave? I'll have to check that. Can you say my name, Carl? You touch that little box and let me know that you're here. Leather. One. Do you mind that we live in? I live in the house where you passed. Would you like to play toys at my house with my children? Do you get visitors to this grave? Oh. Traitor. Can you let me know that you're here? Yeah. Can you set the box off? Be afraid. Just let me know that you're here. Did someone meet you when you passed over? Which you met by a family member when you died. No, it's sad. Can you say my name, Carl? Can you say your name, Trevor? Composed. Was it day or night when you passed? Would you like my children in spirit to come and play with you? Would you like one of my sons? Night. It was night, okay. I can, I, that I can get checked on. Uh, one of the neighbours knew him. Um, would you like one of my sons or my daughters to come and play with you? Well. So we've had a little try. Um, the village where we are, where I live, is small. Um, there's not much here at all. Uh, lovely window. Lovely uh, church window behind me. Um, the village hasn't been around for that long, only since the late 1700s to early 1800s. It's a relatively young village. It's lovely and peaceful. You hear the crows in the background. Uh, hear the odd pheasant. There we go, just as I say that. 
There's some horses in the field in, over there. Don't like horses. Um, but yeah, it's a lovely little village. Um, been here nearly three years now, so um, we've had minor activities within the house. Um, one of the rooms feels quite negative, but that's been looked into and dealt with. But it's lovely to sit out here just on this bench by this uh, lovely church. I tried my luck at the grave. Um, it's a long shot. I've had a few answers come through on one of the ghost apps. Um, mostly coincidental, mostly just random words. But uh, we'll see. I didn't have a digital recorder because my digital recorder's gone wrong, unfortunately. Uh, the batteries I'd left in it had gone rusty and corroded everything inside there. But I'll have a listen through on the audio of the videos and see what we get. Oh, someone's annoyed a noise of pheasant there by some of it. But um, yeah, it's a lovely little village. I uh, quite enjoyed the bit of peace and quiet sitting here. Hi. Um, I'll just remind you that myself and Peter Fox will be doing Pots of Gibbet uh, next month in April, April 14th, I believe it is, which is a Sunday. And we're doing a collaboration with CD Paranormal of uh, Ipswich. Um, it could be interesting. Uh, Peter's worked with CD. Um, they'd done the Greyhound. Um, he's had a fantastic time with them. I'm looking forward to meeting them. Um, so it could be interesting. So, uh, TTFN.